This is a continuation to the video I just uploaded. You can visit the link in the description below if you want to listen to the video that leads to this video. So after four days of my first 14 hours of this job, it's okay. You didn't have to watch my videos right now. A friend's texting me. She'll get to it when she gets to it. Um, I don't need, and I'm proud to say this, I don't need to put myself in that position anymore. At my last job and this one experience last week of giving a job one more try, I've been underneath management that either use fear tactics or if you're really eager beaver and you really want to be a great worker, do whatever they can to hold you back. And then you have other managements, other managers that'll say, you know, these these are my sales. You got to do this. They like, they like it when you're running your tippy toes and you got fear. And my first four days at this job, I was like, I can't do that again. I already know what's happening here. The manager kept telling me, don't do it that way. Even when she was there, she was like, yeah, but you just told me to... This is what he wants. I'm the manager. I don't want you doing it that way. Well, you know what, guys? Good luck. You work it out. Right? You work it out. I don't need to put myself in that position. And it would have been a perfect fit. And a challenging fit. A challenging so after I left the message, I started my day. I didn't want it to interfere with my life because it's not a part of my life. I ignored the messages that after the callbacks. They said they're going to be in at 8.15. Meanwhile, I call at 9.10 and you're still not there. I leave a message. It, 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 I can see a lot of there's a lot of nonsense going on there. Don't you think? This person, this person who claims she's a manager of an office is not a leader. She breaks you down so you look worse. She was already setting me up for failure. This woman did not want me there. I don't think this woman wants anyone there. You know. Um, and if I sensed that they were walking on their tippy toes because this man was about to blow in the first 14 hours of my job there, you know, come on. No. That can't be. Wow. You're never going to find good help. <laughs> reliable, dependable, respectful help. You're not. So from now on, I'm going to be self-employed, independent. I'm doing okay. It keeps getting better for myself. I keep educating myself. Not everyone is cut out. You know, I'm a motivator. I help people. I actually receive emails, people thanking me for introducing them to apps and the guidance and how they enjoy my channels. I've received at least a dozen um, emails in the past, especially the past year saying, you know, having, teaching me how to use these apps to earn extra income have helped me financially, which, you know, alleviates a lot of stress because a lot of people are stressed over money, even when they have a full-time job, because the world continues to become more expensive and stuff like that. So I feel I'm a motivator, a leader. Um, one more thing about this, why this job landed in my lap. I was a client slash patient. I had a procedure done. I'll talk about it another time. You lost revenue as a client, as a patient, as a customer, and you lost sales because you would have had an ace worker who boosted sales. When I waitressed, it was always the joke. In any place I've worked, Michelle always sells the most specials. So, I help people offline and online. I decided to be to become self-employed. I am going to go down the route of dumpling, starting a shopping gig, but it's going to be a long process. I have a lot going on. I will continue to do the research to find more gig apps for us people to earn extra income or use them all to earn full-time income. I did find a couple of more apps that I'm testing out. And I am going to follow Dimple on Demands. Check out a channel friends text me again check out our channel um i learned about dumpling that you could build your own shopping business using the app you're not working for a third party you're building your own business i want to build my own business now i'm tired of people holding me back from succeeding 
it's exhausting. It's mentally exhausting. It's physically exhausting. It's not necessary. And you know what? Not everyone is cut out to be self-employed because being self-employed requires a lot of dedication, persistence, self-motivation. Some people just want to go to a job and not worry about paying taxes. They want an old-fashioned paycheck, W-2. They want to know their hours. They want the security. They want their paid few holidays and their vacations. Kudos for them. Not everyone is cut out to be self-employed or an independent contractor, an entrepreneur, because I've been teaching myself how to do my own taxes, learning more about all the write-offs, gaining more financial education, understanding, taking action, learning and taking action, how I could pay less taxes, that's my goal, and just keep building my business. And I see building a very successful shopping business because I'm an eager beaver and I'm the type of worker that likes to accommodate and appease. I, I think that's the right word. I, I like to make people happy. You know, I, I like for an employer, I'm going to be my own employer and my own employee and I'm going to be very happy. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> that's really good, right? It's so true. It's so true. People are exhausting. And you you work for this man. You know, I, I was a patient, a, a slash client, and I asked about a future procedure that I wanted to get done, and she talked me out of it. She was talking me out of it. They actually canceled my last appointment because they didn't have enough help. You know what? That's a lot of nonsense walking into a sweet part-time job that I should have just been very good at, dependable, and did what was expected of me to get paid. It was exhausting. I'm going to provide a service that's in demand. A lot of people can't shop. Then I'm gonna build, you know, a rapport and a relationship with my, I guess, customers or clients. I don't know if I shop for someone, are they a client? I have a lot of things in the works. It just confirmed. Stop going out and doing what you were raised to do and what the, the way you were raised to think. You must work for a paycheck and earn other people a lot of money. Do it yourself. If you have what it takes, do it yourself. I have what it takes. It's not for everyone. In the beginning, it, it can be very isolating. There's a difference between lonely and isolating. And it was getting to the point where I was like, God, I want to be around people again. But this, in my opinion, this pandemic added to that way of thinking. So I do everything myself. I also feel the worst is yet to come. And I'm not going to be financially hurt by it. I've been saying this a long time. The middle class is going to be wiped out. That's the whole global reset plan. So I could go on and on. You got the gist. You want to watch the first video about the story that led up to this video? I'll include the link in the description below. To my subscribers, my followers on both my channels and my library um, video channels. Um, thanks for following me. Thanks for the emails. Thanks for the motivation. I'm here. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be a leader, a motivator, um, be self-employed, independent contractor. That's who I am. And I'm willing to do all the work that's involved because there's a lot more work involved when you run your own business and there's a lot more air to stress. But I guess, I, I just feel a higher power just slap me in my face this week and said, what are you doing here? Get out of here, go back to what you're doing. I hope you, found, hope you found the videos interesting. I'll be around and I'm going to be gigging a for, forever independent contractor and self-employed. I'm my own employer and I can tell you right now I'm doing a great job. I'll see you later guys. Good luck everyone. Bye.